So this is the part that I just went over with the drill with the brush attachment, which is flinging little pieces of metal at me. So where eye protection, but I got it down to where it's flat and no more pieces of string hanging off. And this is the part that I have only gone over once, so it needs a second going over. So flat, smooth, strings hanging off. And that's the membrane. So, yeah. Today is the day, buddy. So he's been with his mama for two years. She finally stopped nursing him. And we caught him with some grain. He's not that tame. But we managed to get a thing on him. He's actually not that snuggly, but he doesn't have a choice right now because he's on a rope. But in an hour or so, the guy's going to come and humanely dispatch him. And then he goes to... <laughs> he goes to... The butcher shop. I'm gonna have to delete out swear words because my husband's being a Neanderthal. So the last last thought in his brain is gonna be you'll look green. So we try to be good to him until it's time. Yeah, I better turn this off because he's swearing today. Isn't that awesome? He's ready in the field now. Now we're just waiting on the mobile slaughter guys to come. I got the pigs cordoned off over there. And he's in there. He's by himself, so he doesn't like that. But other than that, he's doing all right. The other cows don't care. But the other place was up on a hill and it wasn't safe to do that there. So I have to bring him down here. And we did that by uh, tying him to the tractor over there. Walking him down the road. I only gotta go from one driveway to the next. They're disgusting. The cow is butchered, and this is what's left over, and they're eating it, and I'm going to let them, because it's good calories for them, but uh, I feel like they need warmed now. Anyway, they're cleaning up every last little bit, and I would prefer to get to the chickens, but the chickens don't clean up the mess fast enough. There's not enough chickens. So, these guys clean it up, and up here we have some buzzards flying around already, and coyotes, coyotes will be coming out any time, and I don't want the coyotes around my livestock, so if they want to eat this, otherwise we would bury it, and we've decided to let them have what they want and get the protein, and, um, and then bury what they don't eat. Because nothing goes to waste here. And they love blood. They're disgusting. Ugh.
so the cows have mowed down a lot of these blackberries already and it's probably time for them to move along that whole rotation thing <laughs> it was only a week ago that they went in there or less so they they stomped down a lot then we're going to turn the pigs in there and the pigs will finish this because they're really good with blackberries but uh he can't get out right now and he's mad <laughs> so i have a i have a solar charger on there that won't work in the winter time but it works right now in summer so see he chewing on things they're just not happy because they'd like a nice flat field but you know it is what it is guys so they they mow things down a little bit so i can see what things i'm dealing with like that old metal trough over there that used to have a little square foot garden down over here and then they had the people that lived here before had uh, flowers planted in there so now I can get to all that because that used to be all covered over about that high with blackberries so they did all that so and this is a white lilac bush and I've got a purple one over here so I don't want them to chew on that too much and then there's like a tree down here that during our snowstorm it was it was that tall and it broke off down there and the branches so I got to get in there and do some work but I can get in there better now that they've mowed down some things so I've got an apple tree here and there's an apple tree way down there so a little bit of work to do but they help they do mowing first <laughs> He's that happy about me holding him.
Ну, пиди, бой. He hates the camera. Come here, pity boy. You're such a twerp. three to five days old now something like that there's 19 19 of these little boogers in here don't ask me what sexes I have yet their mamas aren't being real cooperative but we got lots of spots and one little orange one with spots they have orange on them too the other spots but they're more light colored and there's some crazy spot patterns that I have not seen before coming out of this pour. <laughs> they have, I don't know how to explain it. I don't know what that's called, but it's got the shaded area around the, the, the spot, like an outline around the spot on all their spots. I don't know, they're just cute. I like that pattern. I need to put my hay in here for you guys. I just picked one up and held him, but I had to be quick about it. So these are all AGH Kun Kun. And in two months they'll be ready. And they're all healthy. There was two stillborns. And that was in the litter of the mama that had ten. So she had ten live ones and two two stillborns. That isn't normal. We don't normally have stillborns. Well no, come to think of it, she had one stillborn last year too. But she has really huge litters. I would rather have eight healthy ones than than having stillborns because I have to deal with them. They're so cute. But they go from mama, from mama to mama and nurse on whoever's given. So there's a lot of them, but there's two mamas to share the load, so they'll be fat little piggies. Oh, there's two feet. Four feet. Four feet. Ooh, they're so cute when they have socks. Some of them are three days old and some of them are five days old. You have the stubby little coony nose, don't you? I love how many spots we got. Wiggly like little creatures. Oh, that's a little girl over there. 
with the feet with the little sock feet the little black one <laughs> quit biting your mama you're so mean some of them are fat little things they sure were tiny the one with the with the tin and the litter they were small But they're all healthy. They're just small. So she had eight. No. She had nine. And she had ten. And she's huge. But she's also older. She's first generation. She's like two now. She's like one. I think. One and a half. I don't remember. I gotta look it up. I always gotta look it up. So, we got another month on these guys, or less, and then they're ready to go. AGH Cooney Cooney Daddy, and this mama who is Hamp York Duroc. So, big pig, little pig, and they will be 100 each, and they are completely natural. No teeth cut, no iron shots. The only reason they're in a barn stall is because we have predators. So when they have their babies and when they're growing up to weaning age, they stay in the barn. Because if not, then all the hawks and buzzards get them and, you know, they, hawks, buzzards, raccoons, you name it. So there's six of these guys. And then when I'm done with that, I'm probably, I'm still looking for, I'd like to trade straight across for another big size pig for her. Because she's two and a half. And she has um, more babies than this normally, but we have predators. So, I'm not sure how many was in the original litter, but she came out with six when she was done. We had a couple that didn't make it. So, that's pretty normal. Normally, she has about 10. But anyway, she's getting, she's related to our boar that we kept, so I can't breed her to him. So, either she's going to go in our freezer when she's done with these guys, which would be a bummer because she has a pretty good temperament, and she's a good mama, and she has pretty good litter, 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 litter sizes. So she lays down gentle, makes herself a little nest, never needs assistant birthing, and she takes the first time if the pig is big enough, which is why we change boars. So my current boar is a big little mix, so he's a little taller. So he was having trouble getting the big ladies, and he could only get the little ladies. But anyway, I pet her babies, and she doesn't fuss at me. Now, if I picked him up and made him scream, she wolfs a little bit, but 
that's pretty much the extent of her nastiness as a mommy. Is she gets upset and comes over and says, hey, what are you doing? But, because we've had mamas that are not nice at all and tried to take me and they are no longer with us. And this mama's pretty good. So, not as good as our other mama, Rosalita. She's totally chill. But this one, she just wolfs at you. But, you know, if you got any brains at all, you respect the mamas and their babies. So, we learned that one the hard way. So, yeah. Coming up. Keep us in mind. This is a smaller breed than the big breed. These guys. So, they're about three quarters of the big breed size. And then they still do pretty good on grass. So, they didn't get very much grain at all. So, I have a little less than two pounds thing that I, I scoop out six of those for each piglet and then three or four more for her and that's just because she's milking right now so when they get weaned they go out in the field and they eat grass and maybe a cup of grain per day so, oh <laughs> out there my horses have come to visit that's funny yeah okay I'm gonna shut up now <laughs> How are you going to get out, smarty pants? It's like, I don't care right now. I'm just drinking. So, they have their own water trough, which they've dumped out. And they pulled it all the way over there to the mud wallow that I made for them. But apparently, they wanted more mud. And that wasn't enough. So, they did that. And I pulled it back over here. And I'm filling up the cows. But they, they can seem to keep moving that thing over there to the... Anyway, I bought the heaviest one, too. I have a metal one, too, and they moved that around, too. But I gotta have a short one so they can have some, quote, clean water. See, there she goes again. Twerp. Mm. If it's perfectly full, it doesn't move. But this one, he's in the cow trough, and I'm wondering how he thinks he's gonna get out, because another eight inches of water, and he'll be treading water. <laughs> So we'll see. Oh, okay, you do just fine then. I don't have little piglets out here, just him. Yeah, this is why I do, one reason why I don't put the little piglets. You're such a jerk. I hate you. <laughs> why I don't put little piglets out here? Okay, I don't have to worry about him no more. So this is. This is Rosalita's baby, the second batch of Big Littles. I don't remember how old he is. I'll put that up there when I look it up. And this is the first batch of Big Littles, and he's a year old now. And who are you? Are you the, the boar that's a year old, over a year old, that's A.G.H. Kunkun Littles? No. Either that or you're one of the females. I don't know which. But they were already bred, so... Yeah. They have a different daddy, so they got bred to him. To put some more big in the mix. So. Yeah. And they put their fat back on just fine. Didn't take very long doing it. Oh, now you're going to jump in there. I see how it is. You mess up every bit of water I have. You know that? There's still going to be mud on the truck tires. This is going to take a long time. 
three times as long as it takes to scoop up the dirt because of one neighbor. This poor mama chick. She had her own little batch of three or four, and then I added some more, those little black ones, to her brood. And yesterday, or the day before yesterday, I got some turkeys and some more chicks, and I've added those to her, and she's mothering them all. I don't think because she would if she had a choice, but there's so many she doesn't really have a choice. <laughs> anyway, I'll probably get some more eventually. I've only got one broody hen this year. So, because the hawks have been taking all my broody hens, but chicks that are raised by broody hens tend to be broody themselves. So, this is a good thing. So, and they were the ones that were came from the store have been under a heat lamp and they've been kind of cold so I'm hoping that they'll find a way to get close to each other and close to mama so I got a few that I might lose this one in the corner perhaps I'm gonna see if I can't stick that one under there she pecks me so I've lost a couple so far so, I lost a couple of little ones. I think they got too cold or one had pasty butt and I didn't notice. So, but yeah, no electricity required. Just a $20 tote from Home Depot with a bunch of holes in it and some water, a couple bricks, and a broody hen. So, I'm going to grab those ones from the corner and stick them under. Yeah, maybe it's a little wrong, but this little batch of newborns was all underneath that mama, so she's mothering those babies. And I think maybe two or three of them are hers. That their chances of survival are better with her mothering them than them being on their own. Yeah, I know you're a quick little one. Just a pick. They'll figure it out. Smart ones live. 